on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Hey, Melanie. Hey, Jason. I didn't know you were back in L.A. Yeah. You won't believe what I saw on my trip. Let me guess. In Portland. Yeah, but here, follow me. You remember the 90s when everyone was pickling their own vegetables and brewing their own beer? People were growing out their mutton chops and waxing their handlebar mustaches. The 90s. Yeah, everyone was knitting and sewing clothes for their children. People were wearing glasses all the time, like contact lenses that had never been invented. Wait, are we talking about the 1990s? No. The 1890s. The dream of the 90s is alive in Portland. It's the dream of the 1890s. Portland. Remember when kids grew up to be artisan bakers? Everyone had homemade haircuts and guys shaved with straight razors? I mean, I don't remember. I, I wasn't born, but yeah, I've read about it. Belts didn't really exist yet. Everyone wore suspenders. Everyone used to carve their own ice cubes. I thought that died out 120 years ago. Not in Portland. It's the dream of the 1890s in Portland. Remember in the 1890s when the economy was in a tailspin? Unwashed young men roamed the streets looking for work, and people turned their backs on huge corporate monopolies and supported local businesses? I thought we had to support corporations. I thought they were too big to fail. Well, in Portland, people raise their own chickens and cure their own meats. The turn of the So from what you're saying, it's like President McKinley was never assassinated. It's as if the 20th century never happened. Exactly. People took streetcars. They rode inconvenient, gearless bicycles that hurt your back. Yeah. It's a long way back. And this world has gone off the track. But you can't escape it all. What are you doing? The Charleston. Stop for a second. It's the right idea, but you're kind of like maybe a little too 1920s. Oh. Do this. There we go. Give you these. Much better. Welcome to Portland. Thank you.